Hi, I'm Kevin Falvey, Editor-in-Chief of Boating Magazine, here aboard Bennington's 2550 RCL, known as the Club. This boat features pillow-topped upholstery, espresso wash, teak accents, and an innovative and accommodating layout that we just can't wait to tell you all about. Our test engine was powered by a Mercury Verado 225 horsepower outboard engine. Our test prop was a 14-inch pitch stainless steel three-bladed inertia. Our test load was 150 pounds and we were carrying 14 gallons of fuel. Our top speed was 40 miles per hour at 6,000 RPM. Our time to 30 miles per hour was 6.5 seconds. Time to plane, 3.1 seconds. And our most economical cruising speed, 20.8 miles per hour at 3,500 RPM, burning 6.6 .6 gallons per hour for a net economy of 3.15 miles per gallon. A great way to think about the layout aboard this boat is to divide it into three sections. Up here in the bow, Bennington has done a wonderful job. The upholstery is custom both in sheen and texture. Boy, is it comfortable. We've also got movable drink holders. Those double as armrests, and they feature the nice espresso wash teak accent. The reclining backs of the lounges also have flip-down armrests that incorporate drink holders and more of that teak. There's wonderful storage under the sole here, and a nice detail I'd like to point your attention to is the way they ran the carpet up the base of the seating. That way your upholstery doesn't look torn and tattered over time. Now let's take a look at what's in the center of the boat. The second part of the layout aboard the 2550 RCL that I'd like to talk about is this center section. It's where all the action happens. Now I'll describe the helm itself in great detail in just a moment, but for now understand that Bennington refers to this part of the boat as the king and queen seating. Let me tell you why. Here the captain can sit in this high back chair in complete comfort and in command. Over here his mate can enjoy all the comforts from this soft plush lounge. Now let's talk about the third component of the 2550 RCL's layout. The 2550 RCL is known as the club and this aft lounge bed sofa seating area is a big part of why it's known as the club. Here we've got seating across for three people to recline, enjoy, looking forward and enjoy the day on the water. But we simply move forward, remove the cushions. Take out the supports, and it converts to conventional seating for even more passenger carrying capacity. Now let's see what's on the transom. Bennington refers to the transom platform as the transom patio. It's covered in a pebbly vinyl fabric that provides non-skid security. There's great access to the batteries and fuel tank here. It's also fitted with custom cleats, a sturdy ski toe, these stainless steel boarding bars, and a yacht-style pull-out ladder. Let's go check out the helm. My test boat was fitted with the next generation console. This fiberglass console is raised several inches above the deck level to provide excellent visibility. It's also streamlined for great looks and there's more storage underneath. The seating posture is also different with this console. It's recumbent, leg forward, much like that you'd find in a luxury automobile or aboard a luxury motor home. There's more of that nice teak accent here and there's a special place that will both store and allow me to plug in my cell phone or MP3 player. With a Verado outboard motor, this boat does over 40 miles per hour. I'm going to enjoy some of that performance right now. For boating, I'm Kevin Falvey.